of this and much more straight ahead on Urban Street. From Chicago Network Television News, this is Urban Street with Ty Wansley, Richard Steele, and the Urban Street News Team. Hello and welcome to Urban Street. Black lesbian coming out stories in a moment. At the 8th Annual Black Expo Chicago, world-class illustrator Thomas Blackshear II made a rare appearance to meet and greet fans of his collectible art pieces. Well, I actually own several pieces of um, Blackshear's work. The piece that appears to me the most is the nurturer, but the mother and the daughter, because I, I am a mother and I have a daughter, but that piece appeals to me the most, and the guardian, um, as a protector of the children, and the protector, the piece that is named the protector, feels to me the most. Blackshear's Ebony Visions collection of limited edition figurines emphasizes the beauty of the human art form and symbolizes the universal aspirations and ideals of humankind depicted through images which reflect the unique characteristics of African American culture. Blackshear deliberately portrays the figurines in a timeless setting in order to transcend a specific time, place, or culture. It does take time to produce a lot of the figurines for the Ebony Visions line. What I usually do is I, I find people to model for me, I set them up, take photographs of them, then put them in the poses I need them to be in, then I draw what I want them to be, and then I send photographs and, uh, the, and the, the, the sketches to the uh, sculptor who sculpts them for me. I sculpt some of them, but I don't have time to do them all because I'm doing so many things. Thomas is best known for his limited edition prints and collector plates. He was asked to create commemorative items for two movies, Star Wars and The Wizard of Oz. I was a, a, an illustrator for 14 years, but over the last uh, seven years, I'm more of a collectible artist. And I guess you could put the label on me, artist, just artist and stuff. But uh, for 14 years, I was an illustrator, so I did corporate stuff, billboards, movie posters. I've done stamps, postage stamps. Uh, all kind of things like that. When I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I didn't know what kind of artist I wanted to be, but I knew that I didn't want to be a starving artist, and commercial artists make money, so that's what I went into. I've been collecting Thomas's pieces, Ebony Vision, since the line began, so actually this is kind of a small purchase for me. Um, he's just phenomenal. He's a genius when it comes to fine art, and. I'm just really glad that he was here at the expo this year because there's so many African Americans who really don't know anything about him or that this kind of art is actually being produced by African American artists and I just think he's great. I've done quite a few uh, postage stamps for the U.S. Postal Service. I did about 30 something stamps in all I've done. I did the, the movie poster stamps that came out in 1990, Gone with the Wind, Bo Jess, Stagecoach and The Wizard of Oz. I did the Joe Lewis stamp that came out. I did four of the uh, Black Heritage stamps. I did a commemorative stamp book called I Have a Dream that the post office put out. I did the whole book. Um, some people might know me for the uh, collector's plates that I've done. I did the Star Wars collector's plate series. I did the uh, Star Trek collector's plate series. And I did the Wizard of Oz collector's plate series. I'm an, an art major myself. I teach school and I got to meet Thomas Blackshear at the International Expo. And at first I bought some of his Ebony Visions sculptures. They were very nice. He signed them for me. And in the process, getting to know Thomas Blackshear, I found out other things that he had done in the past, which was Star Trek. And that's why I have the Spock plate and Captain Kirk, which he also signed. So he's a very talented artist. All over the world, Blackshear's art has touched lives and warmed hearts by vividly capturing the true essence of the African-American cultural experience. Well, I think what appeals to me the most is um, being black. We're all a mix of different um, cultures. And this piece appeals to me because the um, beauty in the pieces. I look at them and I don't see um, 
African people, I see people who are black and beautiful, just as most of us are black and beautiful, not just African. Thomas Blackshear is no stranger to Chicago. He entered the Art Institute of Chicago on a scholarship and later attended the American Academy of Art. The American Academy of Art was a, is a commercial art school here in Chicago. And I mean, that's where I really learned how to become a, a skilled artist. They teach you classes in composition, design, color, um, and three years of intensive uh, training to just uh, better your skills in drawing, painting, and all of that stuff. So I really did learn at this school. I, I thank God that I had the opportunity to go there. One final note on Blackshear. Rachel Robinson, widow of baseball pioneer Jackie Robinson, chose Thomas as her first choice to sculpt a figure of her late husband this year to celebrate the 50th anniversary of his induction into Major League Baseball. Coming up next on Urban Street, the hottest new sound on your radio, the hip-hop jazz stylings of Erica Badu. His style is second to none. He looks for value, selection, and demands quality in his world. The same in the world of Errol Smith. With three locations to serve you, the demands are matched. Errol Smith Shoes for Men, come visit us today. It's the sexiest song on your radio. Dance for me from the Mark Williams. Dark. You are all the woman that I need. Just look at you. Hair done, nails done, and your taste in clothes are impeccable. Smooth R&B, just for the ladies. Dance for me, for me. Dance for me, the smooth R&B smash from the Mark Williams on Master Sellers Music. Available for digital download on iTunes, Amazon, Google Music, CD Baby, and all streaming services. 